That is how many dogs will be brutally killed during the 10-day Yulin Dog Meat Festival. During this speech, I will give background on the Yulin Dog Meat Festival and the um, tradition of dog eating in China, explain why the festival still goes on, and um, give background on why there's so much controversy around um, this tradition. Um, I will also give you three steps that you can take to stop um, China from killing innocent dogs. Ultimately, I want you to help in the fight against killing helpless dogs, and to do this, you can join by making your voice be heard on all social media platforms and by getting involved politically. To begin, the Yulin Dog Meat Festival is an annual event that is held during the summer solstice in China. And um, even with so much controversy around this festival, they still do it because um, China has been eating dogs for a very long time now. According to CNN, the actual festival didn't start till 2009, but um, China has been um, having this tradition of dog eating since 1700 BC. It started in the north of China, but it eventually moved down um, to the south of China in the sixth century from all of the nomadic people in the north moving down and bringing the custom of dog eating to the south. <coughs> According to Time, Chinese believe that eating dog will um, stimulate internal heat, making it a food that wards off the winter cold. So during the summer, they think that by eating meat, it'll stay warm. Dogs are a really big spiritual symbol in China, and so even when people pass away, they are buried with their dogs. According to What's on Weibo, a dog is actually one of the 12 zodiac signs in China, and people who are born um, in the year of the dog are um, very um, loyal. So you're probably wondering where they get the 10,000 dogs that they're going to sacrifice. So there's a misconception about where they get them. A lot of people think that they are farmed, but that's not true. They are actually stolen off the street or from homes, and they are poisoned and um, drugged in order to um, make them calm down. And so, and then when they put them in the little um, cages, they're not as crazy and freaking out, I guess, the other dogs. Um, also, they don't give them food or water when they're transporting them from off the street into the actual meat trade. So a lot of people are concerned with that as well. Um, according to an article published by One Green Planet, the torturing of dogs is done during the catching, transporting, and um, actual, like, before the festival happens. But a lot of people think that they are tortured at the actual festival, which they aren't. So I won't go into the process of how they kill the dogs, because that's way too graphic. But I'm going to talk about the controversy around um, um, the festival and how dog lovers everywhere are trying to stand up against this and cancel this horrible tradition. Um, so the festival has been around for a very long time, like I said. And people believe in China that it is their right to eat dog meat. But according to BBC, people who are against the festival say the reason they are protesting it is because the dogs are cooked alive, which is not good. Also, um, they just feel it's very inhumane, obviously. Um, so before I go to my last point, I would like to point out one person in particular who is very against this, and she has um, started a campaign to um, stop this whole entire um, tradition. So her name is Lisa Vanderpump. She's a big celebrity, and she's very passionate about dogs. She um, started her own dog adoption agency um, in order to bring awareness. And according to her website, Stop Yulin Forever, the, um, she started out with the Yulin um, dog tradition. Um, and she hopes that as she can shut this down, she can shut down all of the meat trade, dog meat trade. Um, according to an article published by the Daily Mail, Lisa and her husband, Ken, began the Vanderpump Dog Foundation to help improve lives of the abused and mistreated dogs in the United States and um, abroad. So Lisa actually went to Capitol Hill and lent, lended her support to House Resolution 752, which is basically a bill that proposed to condemn the dog meat festival in Yulin, China, and urges China to end this tradition um, completely, according to a post by Bravo. Lastly, here are a few steps that um, you can take in order to stop this whole tradition. So according to CBS News, there are three different 
steps that you can take. Apply political pressure, adopt one of the rescued animals from Yulin, and um, stay plugged in. So according to change.org, um, if you sign their petition, you can join a global movement that with like-minded people who want to shut down the Yulin Dog Festival. So by um, signing this petition, it shows the Yulin and Chinese government that you're really serious about this and you want it to be shut down. Also, consider adopting a dog that is close to being a victim of the Yulin dog meat trade. So I know it sounds crazy adopting a dog that was about to be a victim from Yulin, but it really just um, reinforces how strongly you feel about this. And lastly, stay plugged in. An estimated 10 million dogs are killed annually for the country's dog meat market. So just keep the conversation going, talk about it on Twitter and Facebook, just let your voice be heard, and by using the Stop You Lin hashtag um, for this summer to try and stop it for next year, even though it's already gonna be happening this year. So to conclude, in order to get rid of this horrible dog eating festival, we need to fight for these helpless dogs, um, whether it be on social media or getting involved politically, and just as Lisa Vanderpump says, our four-legged friends do not receive the credit that they deserve. And we need to gain attention to the meat trade in China and stop Yulin forever.